What's up friends? Welcome back to another video or welcome if you're new here. My name is Alex, my pronouns are he, him, and this is my channel Pucks and Paperbacks where I recommend queer books and I like to make fun and bookish content. Today I'm sharing with you my February TBR. I didn't do a January TBR because I was like I don't know what I'm going to read and it just was a slumby slumpy month. However, I'm really excited about February, so let's get into my TBR. February is Black History Month in the US, and so I will be participating in Blackathon. I participate every year and I really enjoy it. It was created by Jesse from Bowties and Books, so their announcement video will be down below, but I highly encourage you to participate if you can. If you just read one book that is completing the readathon, go and follow all of the hosts. There are Instagram hosts and there are also YouTube hosts. So there will be a Google Doc down below for you to check out if you haven't seen Jesse's announcement video. There are different teams for each book genre. So I chose Team Romance, which is hosted on YouTube by Fadwa at Word Wonders. Their link will be down below and also on Instagram. Chanel is one of the hosts, so their links will be down below. There are three challenges which I will be participating in, and I really love that there's only three. I think that this is such a great readathon, and it is very easy to do. So I am going to be reading the following books. I'm not going to be reading the group book because I tried to find it on my library's apps, and just my library in general doesn't have it. So that was a bummer, but I hope to pick it up another time. So for my TBR, the first challenge is a book that explores the duality of love and hate. So in Enemies to Lovers, and I chose Sweet Hand by N.G. Peltier. I know that it has bisexual rep. I believe that the love interest who is a guy is bisexual. So that's really cool. I also have an audiobook for that from Libro FM that I didn't realize. So I'm really excited for this one. And next is a book with a romance between two black people and I have either Rise of the Sun by Leah Johnson, which I really really want to read. I think the audiobook is on Hoopla so I'm probably gonna do that. Or Make a Scene by Mimi Grace, which is a fake dating. And I have that on Kindle because I bought it for a book club that I never ended up reading it because that's my life. That's what always happens. But I started it and I liked it. So I want to continue it. I love fake dating. It's one of my favorite tropes. And the last challenge is to read a book with a book on the cover. And I found the perfect book. I am so excited to share it with you. I think that I found it on Hoopla and I just need to read what it's about because it sounds amazing. The bookish life of Nina Hill meets Younger in a heartfelt debut following a young woman who discovers she'll have to ditch the dream job and write her own story to find her happy ending. Meet Nora Hughes, the overworked, underpaid, last bookish assistant standing, at least for now. When Nora landed an editorial assistant position at Parsons Press, it was her first step toward the dream job because honestly, is there anything dreamier than making books for a living? But after five years of lunch orders, finicky authors, and per my last emails, Nora has come to one grand conclusion, dream jobs do not exist. With her life spiraling and Parsons staff sinking, Nora gets hit with even worse news. Parsons is cutting her already unlivable salary. Unable to afford her rent and without even the novel she once loved as comfort, Nora decides to moonlight for a rival publisher to make ends meet and maybe poach some Parsons authors along the way. But when Andrew Santos, a best-selling Parsons author no one can afford to lose, is thrown into the mix, Nora has to decide where her loyalties lie. Her new dream job, ever optimistic Andrew, or herself and her future. Your next book club read touching on mental health, happiness, and the peaks and perils of being a young woman just trying to figure it all out. So I love the rival publishing scenario. What a fun trope that is going to be. I am so excited to read this. I found it on Hoopla on a whim and I am excited to read it. So that is it for Blackathon, but I do have other books that I want to read. I'm hoping February is going to be like a bigger reading month for me. However, I am still going to be doing quality over quantity. I don't have a reading goal this year, so I am just going to read for fun. Anyone ever heard of that? <laughs> but I have a buddy read and I also have a book club pick. If you missed it, 
I have launched a book club in my Patreon. So every other month we're going to be reading The Rainbow. So for this month, February, we're starting off with Red. We have chosen Upright Women Wanted by Sarah Galley. So if you're interested in reading it with us, you can pledge one dollar to become a Patreon and join us and it's gonna be a fun time. I'm excited to read this. It is a Western about queer librarian spies in a dystopian American future and the author is non-binary. I'm really excited. And then me and my friend Sunny are buddy reading Concrete Rose. I am excited for this. We have been trying to get this buddy read started since December but my chaotic reading has put this on the back burner so I was like okay February is gonna be the month that we read it. I'm very excited. I've seen this on everyone's best book of the year list and I'm just really excited. I have the audiobook as well and I'm very excited to read it. I love Angie Thomas. You know already that On the Come Up was my favorite book last year and I'm just excited to read about this. And to close out the video here are some romance books I would like to get to in the month. I am doing a reading vlog and it is going to be like a themed one so I am gonna be kind of having people pick my TBR for that reading vlog so I'm hoping that these are books I get to read because I've been wanting to read them. First is Meet Cute Diary by Emery Lee. Yes I haven't read this yet it's my fault. <laughs> so I'm hoping to read it this month. It is a rom-com by a trans author and we have some trans rep which is cool and I'm excited. Then I have Happily Ever Afters by Elise Bryant. This is about a girl who is a writer and she is writing a romance novel but she's never experienced romance before and so it's her kind of going on her own journey to find that and I'm super excited about this. And then I am going to hopefully finally read The Wedding Date by Jasmine Guillory. I read Party of Two last year and I really enjoyed it and so I just want to read more Jasmine Guillory. And last is Honey Girl by Morgan Rogers. I have been wanting to read this one as well and I have an audiobook for it. That is my February TBR. Let me know what you're looking forward to reading this month and again if you want to participate in my Patreon book club the link is down below. If you are new here feel free to hit subscribe and turn on my post notifications so you don't miss a video and if you want to see more bookish things from me you can follow me on Instagram at Pucks and Paperbacks and I have my own podcast it is called Reader Rambles. Episodes go out every Monday but if you're a Patreon member you get it on Sunday. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.